Hi guys, back on the bank today and we're definitely going perch fishing, 100%. So I've tied up some new, real lightweight uh, tracers, which I'll put a quick link in to show how I've done, and the materials. <clears throat> and we're sticking to laws of about this size, you know, tiny. That's a tiny, two, what says 2.7 grams, and with the law, you're probably just looking just over three grams. So that's what this video is going to be. We're gonna. I'm, I'm, I always say it's going to be a perch video, but it always ends up being a jack video. So yeah, fingers crossed. Let's so we find some perch. And it's going to be a bit more of an urban setting, some deeper water, and fishing some kind of structure, canal walls, that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah. Um, hope you enjoy the video, guys, and um, catch you on the bank soon. Hi guys, here's a very quick look at uh, some of the components that I use for making my BFS um, tracers for uh, when we're going out with the light loss, light loss stuff, um, knowing full well that I'm most likely going to hang out to some pike. So we've got tiny crimps, so an internal diameter of something like 0.2 mil. We've got some tiny swivels, size 20. 7.3 kilos, some very small um, law clips for usually used for fly fishing, I think. And we've got some uh, wire trace material which is 3.7 kilos test, and that gives us a very small trace. I've just kind of put in there the size of the beer bottle top just to give you an idea, but that's the, that's the hook. The hole in the law clip. And that's the swivel on the other end. So if you didn't crimp and you tied, you could possibly, that would possibly travel through the eye of a small rod. I wouldn't, but you know, you might be able to get to that. And all I'm using is a pair of small pliers. Doesn't need anything heavy duty because the crimps squash very easily. And just a pair of braid scissors to cut the uh, to cut the wire. And the only thing I do is double, um, oops, focus, I double loop the wire through the crimp. And just because it's so narrow, and you get a solid grip that's not going anywhere. And the same on um, the same on the end as well, just to loop it around twice. So there you go guys, very quick look at, uh, got me into, into the details, the loads of people have done that before, but yeah, you just see the components. And uh, not expensive, you can pick all that up from um, AGM Laws for, for a few pounds. Yeah. There you go, folks. It's a lovely day, we've got quite a lot of sunshine, which is <clears throat> in this section of the canal is quite, quite uh, any direct light, so that might well. Uh, not be ideal. But I'll persist down here with the uh, swim legs. It's good search bait. <coughs> itself in the net and it did. So by no means a big perch. Let's see if we can get a look at it on the camera. Probably not. There we go. Lovely condition. Lovely colours. Let's get it back.
I'm not moving any dog mucks, there's a very big pile there. Beautiful perch, slightly bigger, lovely little fish. Let's get it back. And also untangle my trace from my net. This looks like a spot that probably gets fish quite a bit. Spot without any dog walk. That's a tiny bike. Cham go. Keep him out of the water very long. Tiny little fella. Oh, go on. That's the way. just got to that time in the evening again where the fish have just started to think about biting again. <clears throat> been a little bit of action earlier on but it's been quiet for an hour or two and we've just had that little pike. Definitely a little bit more cover up here though, so there's a bit more uh, cabbage in the water. Oh, that's another pike. So I was hoping this would be a perch session, but I've definitely caught perch, but now technically, as I've caught more pike than perch, I think it can only be a pike. Or a Maybe a light law session. <laughs> Oh, that's 
It's the wrong hand for an hook in there, come this side. release but I didn't want it to get wrapped up in the um, braid but there we go another fish Whoa. so turn the camera off for two minutes and <laughs> cast to what looked like a good spot for perch and guess what we found a pike Ooh. which now knows I'm here as well I think it's just realised it's caught so I'm not going to bully it too much we've got that little trace on it Looks like it's properly chomped it. It's just in the corner of its mouth, but it's got the whole lure in its mouth, so it's done pretty well. It's just a. Where's the metal? Goodness, it's got leeches on it and everything, this one. Oh, it's properly uh, properly swallowed that little <laughs> straight down there. Uh, right, jump back in the water. That's only a little one we went to. Uh, I don't want to it too much because there's lovely markings on it. Just have a quick. Don't get it out of the net, but. It's kind of probably in that one and a half pound, one and a half pound range. Go on, off you go. Gotta be a perch. Or is it just another tiny pike? Oh, for God's sake. It's not a pike. So Pike very much like my um it's another tiny pike to be expected. Oh okay, stop doing that. Devils. 
that had 100% perch head shakes then. So the weather's got us guys. End of another session, um, which was a perch session. And you know on bands, it kind of could be a perch session, perch video, but to be fair, I caught more pike than perch, so I can't really claim it as that. Um, but we did target perch in a kind of more urban area and managed to bank two I think I probably missed two as well and then after that it was all about the pike again but um, not to worry anyway thanks for watching guys and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video catch you on the back soon <laughs>